Hey everyone, today I'm gonna to show you how I make my classic Hong Kong style beef chow fun, but this one is gonna be the wet style. Okay, so what I mean by the wet style is that there's gonna be a gravy. Uh, if you don't know by now, beef chow fun have two styles. One is gong chow ao ho, which is dried beef chow fun. And then we have sup chow ao ho, which sup means wet. So if you are looking for a recipe for a dry style beef chow fun, I put a link to my video below teaching you how to make dry beef chow fun. Okay, so here are all the ingredients for a beef chow fun with gravy, okay? So we have here, of course, our Ho fun noodle. These are wide rice noodles. When you buy these wide rice noodles, there's gonna be a problem that most of you might come across, okay? This is a packaged chow fun noodle that I bought at the supermarket. These have been refrigerated. So what happens is when, it, when, it's, in the, when it's in the fridge, it's gonna clump up into like a brick and it's gonna be a little bit difficult to separate. To solve this problem, you can stick this into a microwave, depending on how many noodles you have, okay? But, but just microwave on the lowest setting that you have for about, for about 10 seconds and then check on it, see if it's easier not to take apart. Or if your kitchen is very warm, just leave it on the countertop for about 10 minutes or so, and it'll be easier for you to manage and separate the noodles. But if you can't get the fresh ones and you're planning to cook it the same day, all you gotta do is just leave it on the countertop, don't put it in the fridge, and you're not gonna have any issues with sticky noodles. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what I mean about sticky noodles. This box is 500 grams, but I ate half of it already. So, so this recipe is gonna be a half portion, but no problems. I'm going to put the full recipe for a full portion on our website. I'll put the link below. I left these noodles out on my kitchen countertop for about five minutes. And it's a little bit easier to manage and pull apart. But if I took it straight off from the fridge, it's gonna be one sticky clump. All right, so here it is. I'm finished with this. So my noodles are separated. Okay, we have baking soda, which is to help marinate the beef. Ground pepper also goes into the beef. Some sesame oil, soy sauce, oyster sauce, and Mr. Shaoxing wine. And everybody don't freak out, okay? I have a little bit of MSG. I don't always use it. I don't wanna go into too much explaining about MSG, but folks, it's safe. And then we have my least favorite cooking ingredient uh, in the whole world. This is gailan or Chinese broccoli. And we also have a half cup of water or about 110 milliliters. This is to make the uh, gravy, okay? First thing to do is to marinate this beef. This step is actually very, very important because it helps season the gravy. I'll show you what I mean when I start cooking, okay? And right here is about 100 grams of beef that is, that is sliced thin. I'm gonna put in about two teaspoons of soy sauce. A little bit of Mr. Shaoxing wine, about half a teaspoon, a small dash of ground white pepper, and about a quarter teaspoon of baking soda, and a few teaspoons of cornstarch, and just a touch of cooking oil, and just give it a good mix. Okay, so baking soda, you're probably thinking that's a very peculiar ingredient. Now, baking soda is a trick that Chinese restaurants use to help soften up very tough cuts of beef. So when you're eating at a Chinese takeout restaurant, they don't use filet mignon, they don't use like ribeyes or, or sirloins. They use cheap cuts of beef. However, you can use expensive cuts of beef. And if you do, you don't need to add any baking soda, okay? So you only use baking soda on cheap cuts of meat. So that's done. I'm gonna set this aside. So next thing you do is to chop up the vegetable. So gailan is the traditional vegetable used in beef chow fun with gravy. Probably the first inch of this is very, very tough, so I'm just gonna chop it off. Go on a diagonal cut. Just cut into smaller bits so that it will cook a little bit quicker. And I don't know why I'm chopping off so much for, I'm not gonna use all of it. I'm probably gonna set this aside. And that's it, I'm just gonna use that much. Just kidding, I probably just use like one more. I don't wanna waste it. My wife will probably use this for something else. This is about 20 grams. It's a good portion for 250 grams of ho fun noodles. And that's it, that's all the prep work. So let's start cooking. But before you start cooking, make sure you make a slurry. A slurry is what thickens up the gravy for this sauce. So one teaspoon of corn flour and one teaspoon of water. 
and give it a good mix until all the corn flour has dissolved. So the first thing I'm gonna cook is the hofa noodles. So I got my fire on high heat because I want to create wake. Wake is a Chinese cooking technique where you're using high flame to achieve some kind of charring on your, on your ingredients. It's one of the reasons why Chinese cooking is so flavorful. Spread my oil. Oil is hot. Throw in my alfa noodles. So I'm gonna let it sit. I'm not gonna touch it for now. And I'm gonna show you what kind of char I'm talking about. All right, you can see right now. See, I use high heat. And my noodles have a char. You know, when you eat barbecue, the best part of a barbecue are the burn bits, right? And that's what I'm sort of trying to explain here. Turn up the heat. Add a dash of soy sauce. Just a touch. And just mix it. So soy sauce is the only seasoning that this whole fun noodle needs. Okay, turn on my heat. And I'm gonna set my whole fun noodle to side. Okay, on the same walk, I'm gonna put my heat on medium. Add about two tablespoons of oil. Spread it around. Pop in my beef. Okay, once the beef is brown, I'm gonna lower my heat a little bit. I'm gonna add in half a cup of water. And then you want to scrape the bottom of the wok. You want to take off all those little bits of beef that have stuck to the bottom of the wok and all the fat and juices is gonna absorb into to that water and essentially make a beef broth. And now I'm gonna hit it with half a teaspoon of soy sauce, about two teaspoons of oyster sauce, half a teaspoon of sesame oil, strong dash of ground white pepper, quarter teaspoon of MSG, throw in my vegetables, give it a good mix. It smells awesome. And then I have my slurry here, my cornstarch and water. I might not use all of it. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to just put a little bit and see how much it thickens up. Because the gravy is not supposed to be too thick. You see the sauce? Maybe it's a little bit too runny. So I'm gonna add another quarter teaspoon. Let me see how it goes. And remember, you only add the slurry when this is at a full boil, okay? All right, so I'm happy with my gravy. Look at that, check that out. You can put that gravy on a leather shoe and it still tastes good. And here you go, kids. Beef chow fun with gravy. Check that out. Oh. As you can see, it was so easy. You're probably wondering why restaurants charge you like $15 for this. I'm just kidding, support their restaurants. And there you go, everyone. This is a perfectly made beef chow fun with gravy or sub chow no ho. If you're new watching me for the very first time, please subscribe. I make videos about once every week. And if you're a current subscriber, thank you all for joining me again. Make sure you try this dish out. So take care and I'll see you all next time.